Okay, folks, we're back for more CTGP, and I want to play as Dry Bones again. Great character, and I haven't played him as him in uh, many cookies. All right, what should we be on? Um, let's play the Magic Cruiser. I like the Magic Cruiser, and it's fitting for Dry Bones too. So win-win. All right, it looks like next up we're on the Lakitu Cup. I thought we already had a Lakitu Cup, or is this? Oh, but he's Lakitu in a different pose. I'll have to check that. So we're on the Lakitu Cup. We've got Big Express City, Lost Fortress, Mushroom Valley, and Color Circuit. Four custom tracks? No idea what to expect. I hope they're good. Custom tracks are generally either really, really good or just pretty sucky. And there's not a whole lot of in between. So let's figure out this out. Big Express City. This looks like a crazier version of Moonview Highway. We've got the arrows telling us which way to go. we got traffic. Looks really nice. Whoever made this put a lot of effort into making it look like a real city you would drive through, which that's really cool. Definitely down for that. One lap, so this is going to be a massive one. And we get the Moonview Highway music. I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, they have the, the Thunderfly there. Eh? I think that was a shortcut I could have taken. Oh well. Alright. Thus far, despite the cool background, a lot of this really just seems to be like it's like you're driving on the freeway. So I hope we get a little bit of a change of scenery very soon. Because just racing on a freeway really isn't all that exciting. I mean, I could do that in real life. Oh, okay. That's, um, where the heck am I going? Is that the way you're supposed to go? Because if so, my gosh, that was a tight turn. So, oh, it's good to be Dry Bones on the Magic Cruiser again. Magic Cruiser is one of my favorites. Both in terms of its design. Okay, I don't like how we're racing on a black track with a black background. Color theory dictates that is not a good idea. I like how we're going for the tunnel now. This is a nice change of scenery. Hmm. Bananas are always great to have in first place. Oh my! Caught that at the last second. And we got some big 90 degree turns coming up. Okay, I like that part. I like the tunnel and I like the... Oh, no! I don't like that, though. Geronimo! You're too late. Okay. That was a bold course. I really like the setting of the course. I like how they put all the like the neon buildings around. That was really cool. The actual race course wasn't fantastic. I think that instead of a one giant course, it should have been a single circuit with free laps. That way you could break up. It, it was just a lot of freeway driving. There should be less freeway driving and like keep things like the tunnel and like when you wind around the corners, like and the off ramps. I think that could have been a pretty cool course, but it's just. I don't want to say it was monotonous, but it was just a lot of the same, just driving on freeway over and over again. And there were a couple of times where it's just like, oh yeah, you have to turn right now. And like, even in the Magic Cruiser, I really wasn't able to do that all the time. So, a couple of issues, but good idea. I just think that it would work better as a three lap race rather than a one giant lap. And by that, I mean, you got to change the track, obviously. Don't just set the lap count to three. That would make it a lot worse. 
All right, now we're on Lost Fortress. Okay. There's a lot of pitch black. I can barely see where I'm going. That does not bode well. Do the people that make these courses just like play on a ridiculously high brightness TV? And they're, everybody plays on the highest brightness setting, right? I don't trust that ramp. Pretty sure that's like a 200cc only thing. All right. There are other racers on here besides just me. I don't know why like eight CPUs all tried to throw their bananas at me. Oh no, 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 no. And so soon, wow. Are you kidding me? Like eight people fell. Diddy Calm is going down. I think that was Diddy Calm who pushed me. He's in first place now, so it would make sense if it was Diddy Calm who pushed me. Oh my! We're on like a helicopter pad. All right, this course is interesting, but boy howdy, you really need to turn the brightness up in a lot of these areas. Wario. Oh no, I think it was Baby Mario who pushed me, not Diddy Calm. Sorry, no pity for Diddy and all that. Yeah, you kidding me. Didn't time the mushroom correctly. Cool idea. I do like all the boost panels here. It's a pretty big course, but because there are so many boost panels, you zip through it pretty quickly. It's just, it's too dark. Turn up the brightness so we can see. I also like how there are some jumps where it's like, oh, you don't necessarily want to trick off this. Not in the sense where it's like, oh, if you tricked off this, you're hitting the wall, but more like, oh, well, if you don't trick off here, you can actually, like, cut this corner and hit these boot panels. That I like. Because it's not going to really punish you for not knowing the layout of the track. It just rewards you if you do know the layout of the track, if that makes sense. A subtle difference, but a difference nonetheless. I was about to say, if that is another blue shell. I'm actually not going to take that boost panel because I think it's faster to not take it. Whoa! Or hitting the edge of that boost panel, I think, is the fastest, so that way you can quickly cut onto the other three. Okay, again, I think if you just raise the brightness on that course, it would be a pretty awesome track. I actually had a lot of fun racing on that. It's more just... I think there are two problems. One, obviously, being that the course is ridiculously dark. The other problem that I foresee is that if you were in a, like, lobby of all human racers, this it would be a massive front-running track. I Like, if you get in first place and get a decent breakaway on this course, like, no one will ever catch you because of all the boost panels. That's the downside of doing boost panel style courses. Because if you're constantly hitting boost panels, yeah, you go fast and it's fun, but it also means that people can't really come back. Because red shells just don't really work with all the boost panels. You can kind of outrun them. Mushroom Valley. Please don't be Mushroom Gorge. Oh, dunk on it. We were doing so well. We hadn't seen the bouncy mushrooms 
all recording session, and now here they are. Well, hopefully they're used judiciously. I feel like the designers are like, we'll just keep using bouncy mushrooms. Eventually, he'll learn to love them. I was like, no, I will not learn to love them. Any course that has bouncy mushrooms and or uses the mushroom gorge music already red flags. Now reaching the part of the minimap where- oh, never mind. I'm like, there, half the minimap is just, like, invisible. Nope, there's just a rocket that takes you across that. Alright, it's a nice, simple track. As far as bouncy mushroom levels go, this is one of the better ones. I also like the colorize, the colorization of the level. This bouncy mushroom is cool. I like that bouncy mushroom. The three in the cave, a little less so. I guess the two in the cave for the second one of those was uh, not bouncy. You know what? This is a track that actually used bouncy mushrooms in a way that is acceptable. But good job. That's basically the highest compliment I can give you if you make a mushroom gorge style level. And you have an eye for design. Oh, the weird- the Goombas are kind of weird looking, but I appreciate that they're, like, unique. Alright! Not a fantastic level, but certainly one of the best Bouncy Mushroom Mushroom Gorge style levels that I've seen. So good job, whoever made this. Oh, Red Shell doesn't follow you through the cannons. And once again, how did I get that massive breakaway? It's probably because I'm on the Magic Cruiser, to be perfectly honest. Well, there we go! Alright, alright. So far, so good. Not too shabby. Let's see what the last one is. Color Circuit! Oh! That's a trippy looking track. I did not push any buttons there, by the way. It it forcibly ended that early. Alright. Simple track layout. Let's see how it races. The overall design of this track, it looks like phase two or three of the animation cycle. Where you're just trying to blot out like basic shapes and colors. Cool, though. I like that it looks it's a highly unique art style and it fits well with the overall theme of racing so okay that's that's maybe a bit much oh and we're already on the second lap okay this is a fun track you call it color circuit but there is not a whole lot of colors used it's mostly just reds oranges and yellows That was a pretty good place to get shrunk, all things considered. Yeehaw! Okay, this is actually a really good course. This feels extremely unique, but not in a bad way. Most of the time if I say something like, it's very unique, it's, it's kind of an, a stealth insult. But this one is actually... There, of course, there's a banana peel there. Daisy, move your butt. Triple bananas in fourth? The triple mushrooms in fourth? That seems like a, it's too good to be true. And there we go! Wow, that was a short track. But it was short and sweet. That was really good. Probably the best track. No, definitely the best track out of the bunch. All right, good job. That was pretty cool. My only like criticism with that one, honestly, is if you're calling it color circuit, put in more colors. Because I felt like there was just two or three colors in that. Put in more greens. You know? But that was fun to race on.
Even if it was over in like 60 seconds. We got first place! Woohoo! And we got two stars! How wonderful. Alright. Today, we're gonna be playing as a fan favorite. Yeah, Waluigi! And we're going off-roader. Off-roader, I think, is gonna play a little bit better than the Piranha Prowler ever did. That's my hope, anyway. So now we're on the Voltroom Cup. We've got DS Bowser Castle. Yes! One of the best. DS Shroom Ridge. Whatever. GBA Peach Circuit. Very boring. And GBA Rainbow Road. Okay. We've got two very mech courses and two epic courses. Let's go. And we start and finish with the epic ones. Cool. I can't wait. DS Bowser Castle is criminally underrated. I really want them to bring this one back. It's such a fantastic Bowser Castle track. I know Airship Fortress gets all the love from that game, but my, by golly, DS Bowser Castle is really good. And Waluigi's going to show you why. Here we go. You can't argue with the GBA Bowser Castle music at all. Oh yeah, we strategically hit the wall to bounce ourselves forwards. It was totally on purpose. Ow. Ow. Oh. Missed it by that much. Move it, Daisy. Dolphin Dasher, Daisy. Uh, 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 no! I was not expecting the platforms to be that far over. There we go. Mega Mushroom, eh? Kind of hoping a lightning would happen while I was mega. Oh well. Oh, not. Okay. The, the this floor makes drifting real tough. I just cannot catch Daisy and Luigi though. No matter what I do. Oh, Daisy hit a banana peel though. The instant I launch both my green shells, they're like, that's when we'll summon the red shell. I hate it when that happens. And if you fall down here, you're in a lot of trouble. So you have to take that huge long cut. Yeah, Bowser. Move it dry, Bowser. So oh, good! Alright, this is a tight race. That's what makes it interesting. Oh. I always hit that freaking crease! It really feels like you should make it if I if you drift that way, but. Oh, come on! I made that! That floor has weird physics. Oh, come off it! I held my shell out behind me. And now uh, the lightning comes. Ugh. At least I didn't have an amazing power up there. I don't see me catching up here. Uh, move it, Luigi. I'm a heavy guy for some reason, and you're not, so... Why Luigi time? Why Luigi time? Why no, why no, why Luigi time? Oh my gosh! That was such a close race. 
Holy moly. Oh, Luigi did not. Oh my, dude. Baby Mario, Dry Bowser, and Luigi were like milliseconds apart <laughs> in terms of their finish time. All right. Well, that was a crazy course. Still love DS Bowser Castle, but uh, the spinning floor room is kind of annoying. It has very weird physics. Now we're on DS Shroom Ridge. It's, ju it's just a freeway. Really nothing interesting about it. Like, it's literally just like, hey, it's a freeway. We already played a freeway course this uh, video. Shy Guy Medals. Bowser's in the off-roader, but that's my vehicle. Ooh, someone lost a golden. First place in trouble. I got a pow block. I seriously got a pow block in second place. All right. I don't think that should have happened. I don't know why I'm holding on to the pow block. I should just use it. It does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Because it only hits players that are in places ahead of you. Oh, hi, bomb. I forgot about the bomb cars. I'm noticing a pattern. Every time I use a heavy guy cart that's giant, I always end up having a rough time trying to win first in the races. Do you really think that the power block would affect Bar Luigi? It's Bar Luigi time now and forever. Oh, look at that! Look at that breakaway lead Bar Luigi has over Luigi. Once again, blooper proofs he exists only to laugh in your face if other things that are bad happen to you. Here we go. See you later. Took a gamble throwing that backwards. Ow. Really? At first, I thought Baby Peach was about to drive into the bomb car just so I would get blown up and someone else could beat me. You gotta be kidding me! Ow! These CPUs are out for a vengeance, and I didn't even do anything to them. Well, that was horrible. That is, you're right, it is impossible. <laughs> well, while Waluigi had the suckiest last lap of my life, <laughs> not really, I've had a lot of sucky last laps. That was absurd, like, I couldn't avoid the vehicles, my car was just too big. Like, there's no safe place on the road if there are two trucks driving next to each other. All right, time for GBA Peach Circuit, one of the most boring tracks in all of existence. I have no idea why you brought this back and have it in CTGP. Because it's just a road with a couple turns. No theming whatsoever. Except, like, look, it's, it's kind of Princess Peach's pet castle in the background. So that's fascinating. This is one of those tracks where it's like, oh, this is probably, like, a dev test track. And then they're just like, eh, we'll make it a real course. We don't need to add any kind of theming to it at all. It's just, it's just grass. Hey. 
Right, well, I gotta make sure I win first on the remaining races, and ideally that we slow Luigi down along the way, because he has a pretty significant point lead over us. And if we win first, but he wins like second or third every, for the remaining two races, he's still gonna win overall. Oh, Luigi's in third place. Do I have to go out of my way to antagonize Luigi just to make sure he loses? I hate playing that way. But if the CPUs are going all out to make sure that I and I alone lose, then well, let's see, let's see how we can deal with that. Really? Bowser is also pretty prominent in the point leads. With memory serves. This is still bad. Bowser, just keep your lead over Luigi. If Luigi moves to second place, I will probably go on my way to antagonize him. No, Bowser got hit. Okay, now here's Luigi in second place. This is a risky strategy. Because if I don't do this right, Luigi could end up actually just flat out winning. And we really don't want that to happen. No! I tried to knock him into the fake power-up. That's bad, though. Oh, don't know, and Dry Bowser also did well. Ooh, this is bad. I gotta beat Luigi by at least four points this next race, meaning that he cannot get second. Dry Bowser can get second if I get first. Oh, we're in a precarious situation, and it's GBA Rainbow Road. Anything could happen. However, the question is, are they able to adapt GBA Rainbow Road properly? Because GBA Rainbow Road worked phenomenally well in Super Circuit with its physics. I'm not sure how well it'll play with modern day Mario Kart physics, actually, so... It could be a big flop, or it could be really good. Or it could just be mediocre. I love how we have the Paper Mario Bowser Castle in the background, too. Alright, I'm gonna try to push the Luigi up. Or just pelt him with shells. That... I was turning basically with maximum turning. I don't know what, what I could have done. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess it's fitting as Waluigi that we have to go out of our way to bully Luigi. Oh my gosh. I forgot the off-roader has like no default turning if you're not drifting. I love this part of the road. I think it's Luigi. We have triple greens. I drive Bowser. Bowser literally just flew off a cliff. Like, he hit the boost panel and everything, it just looked like the game didn't give him enough height to actually get across. I like the falling stars that become, like, fiery explosions. Okay, yeah, so this is nowhere near as good as the GBA Rainbow Road in Super Circuit. But, I've... It's gonna be hard to adapt it better than the way it has been, so... So for those who don't- Oh yes, Luigi drove off a cliff! That's huge. So for those who don't know, in Super Circuit, uh, in Rainbow Road, like, all of the edges are, like, boost panels. So, like, if you play the track really well, you can just, like, keep hitting the railings, boost panels, and keep launching yourself into the boost panels over and over again, and, like, get stupidly fast times. But it's super risky to do that, because it's so easy to fall off. Just look up the TAS for GBA Rainbow Road. It's magnificent. No, Luigi's uh, right up there. And he's about to pass Dry Bowser. Pass Dry Bowser. Oh, great. Game is bending over backwards to help Luigi get an undeserved victory. Oh, but Luigi drove into an inferno.
Well, that was unfortunate. I have to make sure I don't fall off. If I do, it's probably quick. I have had to let go of the accelerator a few times. Alright, Dry Bowser. I'm counting on you to keep your lead over Luigi. But just in case that doesn't happen. Okay. Dry Bowser, you're doing well as long as you don't screw up royally. Oh, wait, if I win. If I win now, Luigi's gonna win. Oh, yes. No, do not tell me. Good! I crossed the finish line when Bout Dry Bowser was still in second. Yes! Yes! I win! I won 11th place on Just Lee. I won course, but I still win overall. Suck it, Luigi. Well, yes! While Luigi gets his revenge, at least. <laughs> While Luigi proved he was better than Luigi. I was worried. As soon as I crossed the finish line, Dry Bowser was in second, but like immediately after I crossed it, he blatantly fell off a cliff and Luigi passed him. And I was really worried it would be like, Luigi won second! Because then, Luigi, if Luigi had won second, he would have had 47 points and would have beaten me by one. Which would have been disastrous. But there we go! That was one of the most heart-stopping circuits I've ever done in CTGP. I hope you enjoyed it. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.